Hey, hello. That's the spirit. Um, yeah, this is, this is the, the most genius lineup I've ever been on. I'm just used to following Joey Razdeen. <laughs> now I've got cyborgs to follow. That is crazy. And everybody's like so clever and, and, and so humble as well, you know. I design objects, okay. Good for you, object designer. You could have told me that you design objects with worms and the sun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really great and happy to be here and honored. My name is Kahiso Lidiha. It's, uh, it's really like not a very nice sounding name. It's not very sexy at all. Sounds, sounds like an Arab getting tortured. <laughs> we are the bomb, Salim. Kahiso <laughs> Lidiha! It's hardcore, yeah, yeah, I, and it's, 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 it's hard kind of being like a, a superstar with a name like Kahi Solidi Ha, you know, it's just hardcore. I mean, I tried, I, I went to America to go do stand-up and, 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 you know, and try to be an African comedy sensation. The job was taken. <laughs> but I had a good time, I mean, I was, I was great, I was nice in the clubs, everybody, you know, I perform and people come up to me and they'd be like, yo, man, you're funny, dude, you're very funny. What's your name again, dude? And then I'd say my name, Kahiso Liji Ha, and you'd see them kind of stepping away, you know, <laughs> keeping a safe distance and having that kind of, you, 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 you know, you, you seem like a cool guy, but you got a fucked up name. Um, and then I decided, you know what, screw, screw this place. And I, I, got, I decided to go to other parts of the world to go tell my stories there. And I went to, I went to Scandinavia. I went to, to Finland to go, to go be, to be Kahisole di Khade. And I got invited to a town called Turku, you know? And I thought, if a town is called Turku, <laughs> Kahisole di Khade should just fit right in, right? Yeah, so, so I got there, and, and, and it was great. I mean, I had, like, my name on, on billboards and, you know, on, on merchandise, and it was very cool. And people of Turku, Finnish people, I don't know if you've been to Finland, they, they drink a lot, they, they sauna a lot. There's a lot, I think there's, like, three saunas per person. They, they kind of talk about saunas in per capita terms, you know? So, so I was like, this is, this is really dope. This is cool. And, and I, I, did this, I did this show. I remember the, the show on the night. It was really big. Uh, a bit more rock and roll than this. Um, you know, booze backstage, that sort of thing. And, and really cool. And there, there was this host, you know, this, this host who had been like, give, give, show me a good time for the past two days. And he came back to me backstage. He's like, my friend, my friend, very good. They're going to love you tonight. They're going to love you. I said, yeah, good, thank you. He said, how you want me to introduce you on stage? I said, just, just say my name. He said, yes, DC. <laughs> what is your name again, right? Then I told him, I'm Kahiso Lidi Ha. He goes, good, 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 very good, very good, very good. Then he walks away, walks away. And a few minutes later, he comes back and he's doing this weird thing with his mouth. Like, what? He goes, your name, me, please, one more time, one more time. I go, Kahiso Lidi Ha. He goes, great, good, good, good. Walks away. I'm nervous. You know when you're nervous because you don't know what you're going to talk about. I mean, there's like, Finish going on on stage and the people are killing themselves. So I'm just like, what am I going to talk about? Do I understand English? Then he comes back, comes back, but this time he said, like, oh, okay, now I'm ready, my friend. Give me name one more time. So, 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 so then, then I, he goes on stage and he, he's, you know, the guy who's just come off stage, kind of destroyed. You can hear the crowd kind of lose it. Oh, and he comes back sweaty. My friend goes on stage. He's the host and he does the whole thing in, in Finnish, you know. I don't know what the hell he's saying. But, but yeah, so, 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 so I have to listen out. I have to listen out for, for, for like words. Like he might call my name in and amongst all this Finnish, you know. So I have to be really careful. You hear like familiar words. Facebook, Facebook, Tina Turner, what's love got to do, got to do. And then you're there like just, 
I'm just there like kind of like, okay, okay, okay. And then he suddenly like turns, he switches to English. And I was like, oh wow, this he turns to English. And I discovered that actually in Finland, everybody speaks pretty good English uh, because they watch all their TV like everybody else in the world in English, American TV, and it's translated, uh, the subtitles, Finnish subtitles, so they're good, you know? So he goes, yes, very good, very good. This next man coming on is a very good friend of mine. Last night we drink, we sauna. He's from very far away, very far away, man. Please give a warm Turku welcome to my friend Zakirto Zakiki. Now I'm backstage. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Everybody backstage is going, Zakirto, it's you. Go, go. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm known in, in Finland as popular African comedian, Zakirto Zakiki. Um, <laughs> and what was cool about Finland is that the, the greeting, the, the way they greet each other, they say moi moi. So everywhere I went, people say moi moi, and I'd say thank you, thank you. <laughs> But, but I mean that, and, and I mean, you probably ask yourself, then why don't you just change your name to something more convenient, you know? Something like Butterscotch Mabena. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but that, would be, that would be problematic because my, my family would, like their story wouldn't be told because they, they're very, they got low self-esteem and they need me, no, they, they need me to kind of continue this narrative of their existence somehow, right? And, and we, we all want that. We all do that. We, we watched uh, uh, Wakanda, you know, uh, Black Panther, and people spoke closer. Trevor Noah spoke closer on, at the Oscars, and everybody was like, yes, we exist, you know? We, we were, were validated because our story is being told, and that's, I think that's what I want to talk about today is I, I, I'm a storyteller, and, and I... I, I <laughs> feel strongly about telling stories. Sometimes, you know, I go, I go out there, I make television, I make, I make movies, I, I make like stage shows and stuff, and nobody ever asks for these things. I just do them. Um, uh, it, it, it's, it's crazy, and I go, I, I put money in, I go ask for money, then I go, and then I, if two years later, I come with a movie, and I say, here, yeah, let's put it in the cinema, and then the, 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 the public g gives me that resounding dude, we didn't ask you for this shit. <laughs> because because it's, 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 it's that, you know, but then I, I need to do it and I, I, ju I just have to. I started doing this as a, as a stand-up comedian right here in Cape Town. Um, like, I think 20 years ago, so it was, it was pretty rock and roll 20 years ago, Cape Town for a dark orange dude. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> I was, and it, because, it, because of, yeah, everywhere you went, you know, you're performing in like Claremont and Kenilworth and these places, and, and the people weren't even sure what we were doing because they weren't even, they didn't know what stand-up was, really. So I'd come up on stages and, and people would think I was doing protest theater or some shit, you know? <laughs> it was... It was, it was weird, and, and, and also the comedians that I was like, I was always introduced as the black guy. Yeah, what your name is, the black guy, and then I'd come on, and it was always very important, because now you're telling your story, and you're representing a whole bunch of people, but you're in this, you know, everybody in this was like light orange, um, and, and you... And you, you have to kind of tell, you, that everybody has like a common experience and you're like an outsider, but you're also like South African, we're all together. So it was always strange. I remember being invited to, to do um, uh, improv, you know, it's like, hey, can he say, Breed, you want to come to improv, you know? <laughs> and I said, yeah, sure, let's do, let's go, let's go do improv. And then we got there and he's like, yeah, it's really going to be nice, it's really cool. There was a crowd there, you know, and he's like, well, I said, okay, we're going to just do some warm-up stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to tell you something and you're going to act it out, all right? And I was like, all right, cool, everybody, we're all lining up there. And he's like, okay, so you're, uh, you're a dentist? performing dentistry while, while on a foofy slot. Kihisa, go. Kihisa. And then I was there going, what the fuck is a foofy slide? Because <laughs> I didn't know a foofy slide. And I felt bad because I was like, well, you know, how come everybody knows a foofy slide? A foofy slide sounds like an awesome thing. 
and I did not have any idea. And it was awkward for everybody, and they tried to make, you know, make me comfortable. Okay, Kihisa, okay, um, uh, you're, uh, you're a taxi driving Sangoma, go! 